Warning, I would like to apologize for my haggard appearance. My hair might not be okay, but I certainly am. Thank you. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Robber Show 12, and this is not a test of the emergency broadcast system. I'm not a hologram. This is me. Like, I'm myself. No, but anyways, aside from that, to those of you who have been subscribing and, you know, checking out my channel, I just really want to thank you because I have been so, you know, unactive on this channel, but I have some news for you. I have a ton of videos planned and I have a ton of videos that are ready to be filmed ASAP. So do not worry, there will be tons of new content coming out. This is just one of them. I am back today to give you an awesome story and it's kind of like debilitating my dignity slowly and surely, but it happened, so I might as well address it. So let's just get straight to the story. Let's not, you know, get too crazy with the disclaimers. Oh, another disclaimer. <laughs> I do not mean to offend the person in the story. I am in no way trying to be crude. I'm just trying to talk about what happened. It's a story. So this was in junior year, and I really wanted to get this teacher for my English class because I heard that he was a really great teacher. Not the nicest of teachers, but he was a really great teacher otherwise. I got him. I thought, okay, this is going pretty swell. Like, this is going to go good. Like, I'm going to get a good education and an easy A. No, honey. Things had started off okay. He was fine. Whatever. There's this one time where I wanted to participate and I wanted to answer a question. Um, you know, sometimes there's no one answering the question and you just want to say, okay, I can be smart. I can do this. And so I raised my hand and I guess I said like the dumbest answer on the face of the earth because he said, it's okay to feel stupid because you should. What? I was so taken aback by that and that really did piss me off. I genuinely thought that was the answer. Anyways, skip ahead a few months. So he gave us an assignment to do an essay about our favorite and least favorite teachers. And so for some idiotic reason, I don't know why I did this, I decided to use him as my least favorite teacher in the paper. Uh, Mr. Smith will call him. I was saying like he's disturbingly cold look in the eyes, like he's so unapproachable. I did not know that we had to share this in class. I thought that this was just, you know, a practice paper to turn in, you get credit, whatever. So we start sharing them in class. And I'm freaking out because I'm thinking, okay, hell, like what if he sees the paper and sends me to the principal's office and I get expelled for slander? I don't know. He's reading other people's papers and as it gets closer and closer to the end of the period, I'm thinking, okay, how much time does he have really to call my paper? It's gonna be fine. Guess who the last paper he called on was? Just take a wild guess. He grabbed my paper out of the stack and was like, okay, whoever wrote this paper, read it to the class. So not only am I screwed, first of all, because he took my paper, I have to read it myself to the class. My dignity is just here at this point. I was saying, you know, disturbingly cold look, and he started laughing. I don't know if that was a laughter of like, I'm gonna fucking kill you, or it was like, <laughs> this is genuinely funny. So I got kind of intimidated by that. This kind of was like a precursor to what had happened and what is the meat and potatoes of this story. I had a habit, and this is creepy, I assure you. It is a little bit creepy and I'm sorry. I love to find old pictures of my teachers just because I wanna see, I'm curious what they look like in the past, what they look like when they were in high school, you know, have they changed, things like that. And so I thought that it was just normal to look up your teachers. What I did not know is that it's not. <laughs> I was looking on classmates.com, which is an awesome resource for finding, you know, yearbook pictures from the past. And I just typed in his last name, like Mr. Smith. It came up. His high school yearbook came up. And so I'm thinking, oh shoot, I hit the jackpot. Like I can screenshot these and send these to my friends. Don't do that. Like don't, don't do that. I text it like, look at Mr. Smith in high school. That is red flag number one. Like you don't know what this person went through in high school. You don't know how their high school experience was for them. I feel horrible, but I sent them anyways. They were like, I can't believe you found the pictures. This is crazy. He looks crazy. I sent it to another friend of mine. This was the big mistake, the bigger mistake. Little did I know that he would end up showing the teacher. Like he got the pictures and showed them to the teacher. I didn't notice this until I got back from break because we have, you know, a 15 minute break between classes. And I walk in. I'm just getting teary-eyed thinking about it. And he says, Who found my high school pictures? Like, who found them? So he was yelling to the class. And I was like, 
it was me. I um I said, look, it was me. And I raised my hand, like shaking and whatever. And he said, I'm here. I sharded in my pants again. Rewind to what happened in my previous videos on my channel, that happened again. Like I sharded in my pants. He calls me up there and he says, Should I be afraid of you? Like, should I be afraid that you're gonna come to my house and kill me at night? Do I have to bring this up to administration? And I was thinking, no, like you don't have to do anything. Not only now am I the kid who says stupid shit in class, but I'm also the kid who stalks the teacher. I'm alarmed, okay? And he's like, show me the pictures. Like, show me the pictures. So I showed him the pictures and then he said, how did you get these pictures? Which any teacher, I guess, would have asked the same questions. And I said, I got them from classmates.com. And he's like, but how? And I said, I just typed in your last name and it popped up, that's all. He kind of gave me like the, mm-hmm, like, I'll buy that, whatever. Go back to your seat. I think it's over. I think we're done at this point. We have a partner combo class. So half of the class is with him, half of the class is with another teacher. He calls the other teacher, like the other half of the class, and he's like, look who found my high school picture, like, I can't believe he found it, he might have found yours too. And I found his previously, like I had found them in the past and sent them to my friend. He like stops the call and he's like, do you have this teacher's too? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> How dumb am I? No wonder he said I should feel stupid because that was like the dumbest thing. So I said, yeah, I have his pictures too. Like I have the receipts. All the class is swarming me because they want to see what they look like in high school because I guess I'm not the only one that's curious what people look like. They bum rush me. They, you know, look for the receipts, honey. He's getting pissed and now I feel really terrible about it. I went home that day and I was crying. I was so scared. I went to school the next day and thankfully nothing happened. He didn't do anything. He just always kind of gave me like this really creepy vibe like he was always watching me because he knew that that is something that I'd done so he knew that he should be careful of me he should be wary of what I do next and so the story is not over I had him for my video class the person that he was before the unapproachable cold look he was totally different he was really approachable really nice really awesome and he ended up being a great mentor for me and my video skills but he still remembers like what happened because he has a senior English class and I guess he told the senior English class, like, there is this creepy ass kid who was like looking through my high school pictures and dug them up and exposed them. Like, he sent them to his friends and he found them. But he didn't mention it to me, so I don't, I don't mind. There is my first story out of the way, done. I really hope you guys enjoy it and I do have videos coming up, tons of videos planned for you guys, so definitely stay tuned. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you later. Bye bye.